After 52 years of fighting and four years of peace talks, Latin America's longest running conflict has officially ended. A formal peace deal for Colombia was signed in the Cuban capital Havana by the government's chief negotiator and his counterpart in the largest rebel group, the FARC. The Colombian president then outlined the deal. The FARC will hand in their weapons to the United Nations on a timetable that has already been announced within six months' time. All of this, as is well known, will be verified and monitored by a United Nations Commission. This means the FARC will cease to exist and will become a political movement without weapons. As many as 220,000 people were killed in the conflict, and news of the peace deal saw Colombians gather on the streets of the capital, Bogotá, and celebrate into the night. I think it's an historic moment. It gives us the possibility to dream and to begin to build and make real what so many people have been working for for a long time, and that's to build from peace, from no violence, to work through the conflicts in a different way other than weapons. Colombians have walked a long road to peace. Talks have failed three times in 1984, 1991 and 1999. And they still have a vote in a referendum in October on whether to accept the deal. If they do, the disarmament of around 7,000 FARC fighters will begin soon after. But many are unaware that more pain is still to come. Paying for the peace will cost literally billions of dollars, hitting an already overstretched economy. Justice will be a sticky subject too. Who will be pardoned and who will be tried for war crimes? Human Rights Watch says it fears crimes committed by both sides will go unpunished. Many Colombians want those who committed the worst crimes to go to jail and be prevented from holding public office. And the government will have to offer an alternative way of earning a living to the drug trade which has kept so many prosperous in rebel-held territory. And there's still a rebel group that is missing from the deal, the ELN or the National Liberation Army. They say they want to enter into talks with the government but they're still fighting.